Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video from Bird One. In today's video I'm going to be talking about a crazy question that I had this weekend. So I was in Germany at a very awesome party and I met a lot of cool people with it and there was one guy and this guy asked me a very awesome question. He said like how much Oryx 580s do I need when I want to mine one Ethereum a day? And I was like that's a very good question. So first of all, we're going to reference to an RX 580 8GB from Amazon. This graphics card is actually pretty cheap, it's about $219 right now, and it's the best card still to mine Ethereum, price-wise and performance-wise. So this graphics card is using about 125 watts while mining, and it's doing an average of 30 megashes per second. Two years ago, I was mining Ethereum as well, that's why my YouTube channel started. And in this YouTube channel video, I actually mentioned that I was mining 33 megashes per second on my two GTX 970s and I was gaining about 0.3 Ethereum a day. So if we think a little bit more clear and do some calculations, we were actually going with 115 megashes per second, 1400 watts and like four RX 580s, let's say in compensation, we were mining one Ethereum a day, if you see it like two years ago. And this video is going to make clear how much RX 580s you need right now to get one Ethereum a day as well. So hold, hold on to your seat because this one's going to blow you away. 410 RX 580s to mine a single Ethereum a day. That is just mind blowing. You need 50,000 watts of power and you'll need a farm that's worth about $100,000 to get this going. So this is just absolutely crazy. And I wanted to mention this as a very important message to you guys. So two years ago, I started mining Ethereum and I actually was called Buried One Ethereum before because I went to an Ethereum blockchain meeting and Gavin Wood was there as well. and I. I kind of started talking with people about it, the future of Ethereum and back then I knew like this is going to be it. But Gavin explained that the actual proof of work was to distribute the coins across the globe and to make it more easy for mining rigs to gain more coins than you would have invested. So for example, when you invested like $2,000 worth of mining rig and that was literally all you could afford you could easily mine 10 or $20,000 worth of Ethereum in two years. Okay, so as you probably can see, I'm a little bit sick, but I wanted to make this video for you guys just to show you a comparison between the two. Like, this was all meant to be. So Vitalik Buterin was a really smart guy. He, he wanted to get rid of proof of work after a couple of years. He implemented this. He wanted to go to proof of stake anyway, in, in any other way. He, he's just going to disappoint all the miners. But to be honest, he actually warned us a long time ahead. So two years ago, we needed the 115 mega ashes per second and 1400 watts to generate a single Ethereum. Right now, you need 410 RX 580s, 12 giga hashes and 50,000 watts to generate one Ethereum a day, or actually mine them. So my point is of today, Vitalik Buterin made a distribution kind of way so that, let's say you only had $2,000 and you invested into a mining rig, you were just easily able to mine 10 times your mining rig worth of the coins. This was just to distribute the coins across the entire globe or the entire Ethereum network. So it wasn't going to be centralized that not one guy is holding 90% of the Ethereum coins because when proof of stake happens, it needs to be distributed, even though then there's possibly a way of the 51% attack if someone would had all the 50 or 90% of the coins. So that's the reason why Vitalik Buterin introduced proof of work and mining on GPUs because their ice age is kicking in and this is where we can see where we need 50,000 watts compared to 1,400 watts to generate a single Ethereum. 
So the Ice Age is almost at its peak where proof of work mining is going to be unprofitable. So this is the moment where you need to hold on to your coins or mine as much Ethereum as you still can. And the reason why to build a mining rig was pretty obvious and Vitalik Buterin has been telling this for a long time. So hopefully you learned something out of this video today and see you guys in the next one.